Hi everybody, welcome back to Lab Hours. Today we're gonna to tell you about how to run SSC install when you're on a computer that does not give you permission to run SSC install. So you can see here, I'm gonna pull up my uh, remote server that I use for research here uh, in the College of Family, Home and Social Sciences at BYU, but this could apply to any server or any place where you don't have read write access to the files that you need to, or basically, if the following happens. Let's say you open Stata. I gave you a little bit of a spoiler there. Let's say you open Stata and you have a program that you need to install like Ivy Reg 2, which is pretty common, and it's the best Ivy Reg package that we've seen. And you run it and it starts going, and then all of a sudden you get this error that says, this file already exists. <clears throat> Normally what this error means is that you can't write folder, you don't have write permission in the folder where Stata is trying to put the ado file. So you'll see if I open up the C drive, which is where most programs get stored on servers and stuff, if I go to uh, this ado folder here, uh, this is the folder that I'm trying to write into. And if I go to properties and I go to security, you'll see that the users don't have write access to this folder, so I can't add in a new file. That's the issue that I'm running into here because this is where Stata is trying to put these new uh, programs that it's downloading from the, SC the SSC. So what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna get around this by changing the path. So if I run the sysdir command, you can see that the um, the path that I was just showing you on the C drive to the folder ado, there's this plus folder here, and then there's this file right here, next.trk. That's the fold, that's the file it was trying to rewrite. But uh, we're gonna do this cute little trick where we're gonna change this directory here that it's trying to write into to a folder where we can write files. So what I'll encourage you to do is go on to some place that you do have the ability to read or write files. If you're in my lab, I've already made one of those. So if I go to this folder here, I've called it v underscore ssc. And if I go to properties and security, you'll see that everybody on the system has write access to this folder. So I'll hit okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna find my copy as path option. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over to my Stata window and I'm gonna write sysdir, system directory, set plus, cause that's the one that we wanna change. And then I'm just going to paste the new file path. And you'll see that once I do that, if I try to rerun the SSE install command that did not work before, It works now. This is great. And now I can do something like help Ivy Rig 2 and it'll pull up the help file. Now, one thing that you'll notice sometimes is that you might run into an issue where some of these programs don't work exactly right after you've SSE installed them like this. Um, I'm not gonna show you an example of that because loading the data would take a little bit of time. Actually, no, let's show you. Let's show you, why not? It's not gonna take that long. Okay, well, I don't get to show you the thing that I wanted to show you, which is a little unfortunate. But if you ever run into a problem where it seems to not allow you to use, you know, some of the, if, if you run into a matrix not defined error, which I can't really show you, but it'll be like error, you know, matrix blank is not defined. It'll be something like that, right? What you'll wanna do <clears throat> is there's this command now that you can add in as well that I've got at the top of my do file over here that will cause Stata to re-index the new meta stuff that it downloads with these commands. So if I go to, I think this one was the do file. And yeah, so this is what it is, meta mlib index. So if I run this after all of my new SSC installs, I will never have a problem is basically what the trick is. So I run that, you can see it's indexing liv reg two now. 
the problem was it sometimes doesn't do that automatically. So keep that in mind. That's something to look out for. Uh, so basically, the hack is this at the end of the day. Set your working set your plus directory to a folder that you have read or write access to, do all your SSC installs, and then re-index all of the meta libraries using this meta colon meta mlib index command. You don't have to change this one at all. You just run this one as it's written here. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you uh, do your research, and we will see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.